Yeah, sure. Happy to. Yeah, we um, we spoke with quite a number of architects um, and narrowed it down to two based on their experience with green home design. So we were looking for people who had background in doing this kind of work and architecting or a, a renovation structure or renovated structure um, that obviously has have experience with that. And uh, people who also would understand or embrace our, our vision um, very much sort of with a community focus. And so we ended up going with um, a gentleman by the name of Mike Pullman of Wexler Pullman um, based here in the Chicago area, based on his experience again in architecting um, green homes, as well as being able to provide some construction management services to us as well. Because what we found was Often, um, you know, if you have an architect's plans, but then you hand it over to a builder, you know, we, we found, well, maybe there might be a gap um, in the understanding or in the transfer of knowledge. So we thought the continuity from design to build would work well for us. And he very much embraced our vision for the home as a gathering place for community and an example of sustainable living in our own local community. He actually, since he's been doing this for a while, he presented us with a number of contractors to select from, obviously went through a bidding process. And these are people he'd worked with for many years in all the different trades necessary for the job and folks who generally understood the vision and the technology behind bringing our vision to life. So this included Lisa Albrecht of Albright Solar has been wonderful to work with. Her partner, Rethink Solar, they were a great team putting on our solar panels and really explaining the ins and outs of all of this. Um, Mitsubishi Electric, of course, for the HVAC and Build Equinox for the serve um, that we have in place as well. And Chase Mechanical actually installed uh, the systems along with Thermoseal Lakeside actually helped us with the insulation work to make sure we had a tight thermal envelope um, to be as energy efficient as possible. So, you know, again, Mike came to us with a number of folks uh, in the trades already that he could recommend and, and we could select from in the bidding process. And Josh. Yeah, that's the magic question. Uh, I love uh, what Amy said. I think it was really powerful that they needed to find someone that understood and could go along with their vision, um, bigger term vision, which is really cool. Um, for us, you know, it, it was smaller. You know, we're certainly lucky in that we're, we don't have the scale that uh, Amy and her husband have um, by renovating and doing all this all at the same time. Uh, we started with geothermal, um, kind of the classic thing. It was for us, you know, young family. It was a, a costly improvement, but definitely long term worthwhile. And we did the classic, you know, three bid kind of thing, all of which, um, well, two of the three were good. The third, um, gave them two chances. They never showed up and couldn't understand why I didn't want them back. Um, so that was easy. Uh, they were off the list. Um, I need someone who I can count on. Um, and I ended up going with Rogers Refrigeration out of Richland. Family owned business right here, you know, 10 minutes from the house. Um, I'm a big advocate in keeping money as local as possible. It doesn't get much lo more local for, for us. Uh, that turned out to work out very, very well. Uh, in fact, um, I think uh, either Bart or Dale mentioned earlier about, um, or maybe it was Mike, looking at, you know, it, it has to make fiscal sense. Um, and, and for us, um, the one downside to going geo and not having propane is when our power went out for a week during a, a major ice storm, uh, we don't have a generator capable of running that geo. And so we could either spend, you know, 10, 20,000 more on a whole, whole house generator. We looked at the practicality or lack thereof there and decided to have Rogers back out. We had them install a wood burning insert in our basement fireplace. I installed a smaller generator that we can get by on when we lose power. And we have absolutely enjoyed wood heat uh, for not for our, our full heat, but just, um, so, you know, kind of some extra. And um, it's been wonderful. And so that was a practical way for us to. Um, still get by. For solar, we, we started with Four Elements Energy out of roughly Paw Paw, Michigan, Art Toy. Uh, very good, uh, good company to work with. Um, we did have a few hiccups uh, in the end that I'll talk through in my lessons learned portion, um, but Art and his team were really great. I, I feel like, I, like we have a pretty good judge of character, um, and the few contractors that came out, um, we, we had good uh, experiences with, with the exception of power home solar. I mean, I don't want to make this a, a hate session, 
Um, but it was very used car salesman esque very pushy. They wouldn't leave us alone. And I didn't get a good feeling. And so I didn't want to go with them. And ultimately, I learned later uh, that was a very good decision because we they they were offering us an 80 percent solution. And it was almost ten thousand dollars more uh, than the Michigan installers. And I have nothing but great things to say about the, the Michigan local installers that we had out were all within about a thousand dollars. They were all recommending similar setups um, for a hundred percent solution. And we ultimately went with four elements to begin with. Uh, last year, I, I did some upgrades. Uh, we had some issues that we had to get figured out. Um, I decided to um, go with a different installer and met Paul Cusack, who's incredibly innovative. Um, he's he, his company, West Michigan Solar out of Grand Rapids. Very, very great to work with. Um, and I had some really um, uh, good experience with him getting things uh, where it needed to be. So um, under the lessons learned, I'll explain a little bit why that happened and uh, hopefully you'll understand, but thanks, Brett. Thanks, Josh. Um, and uh, Dale, what? Uh, tell us a little bit more about your contractor experience. Oh, and actually Dale, before I turn it over to you, um, I just wanted to let everyone know we are at pretty much one Eastern. So um, if you do need to get going, you are approved for your continuing ed. Just take the survey. I'm dropping it into the chat. So make sure to take that. Um, we're going to plan on, as we had already planned on sticking around for Q&A, we're just going to go a little bit longer with the normal session. And then we'll still take time to jump into Q&A. But if you have to go, don't worry. We're not going to hold it against you. I know um, the we, you've met the one hour time. So I'm dropping that into the chat right now. We'll send it a little bit later. And uh, sorry, Dale, go ahead with your, with your thought there. <laughs> Yep, go ahead. Yeah, next slide. Um, so I, I did not uh, jump around as much and get, get lots of bids as some of you did. And maybe it's just because I've been in the construction industry for three or four decades now. And I tend to go with who I've, I hear is recommended. And I just went with them and I'm not spending time getting bids. So I, I did it a little different than what's normally recommended. Um, but I'm happy with the results I had. I, I use advanced insulation technologies, like I mentioned on the, on the foam. They had to convince me it was the right approach, uh, but I've been happy with the results. I went with uh, Solar Winds, um, who I had some connections to through through the Climate Witness Project that I mentioned. Um, they've done some other projects for people in that group, um, so I kind of went on that recommendation. Again, happy with the, the result there, and I went with uh, Lampfear for the air source heat pump. They represent the same company, the, the residential side of the same company that I work for on the commercial side. So that was uh, uh, why I wanted to pursue them. I just wanted to use that that same uh, the same company. And there's the contacts listed. So um, and myself, I, I semi-retired, but I'm starting a a small design and consulting business around this. Uh, slowly ramping it up here. I might be ready to hang my sign out uh, second half of the year. We'll see. Thanks, Dale. Um, and then Bart, tell us about your contractor process. Yeah, some, some things that I heard uh, also uh, um, apply to me. Um, uh, it had to be financially sound, but also my gut feeling was very, uh, very important. Um, so be before I reached out, um, uh, I, I read up a lot, like I explained before. I, I kind of wanted to be an, not an equal partner, but mm -hmm. I, I wanted to be a good partner. Um, um, and I wanted to be able to have a good conversation with uh, anyone I would ask for uh, for a quote. Uh, I also knew that um, local contractors are important for me uh, because I think we're dealing with some equipment. Uh, yeah, I th still think we're early adapters and heat pumps. Uh, I don't want to deal with someone who is far away if something happens. Uh, and and I also believe in in local economy. So th that was that was important for me as well. Uh, I did look at, at websites and reviews, but with caution, because reviews, I don't know, uh, most times it's only the people who are not happy, and there might be thousands that are that are happy, but I, I mean, I did it, I looked at it, but um, the, the, the most important was, was uh, number four, uh, personal interaction. I really looked for... Um, engagement. Um, and like I said before, I had many questions. I, oh, I, 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 many emails, sometimes I felt a little bad. I mean, was I overdoing it? 
Uh, later on, I heard back that they really appreciated uh, this, this relationship because they were learning too, they were telling me. So that was pretty cool. But I was really looking for that. I was looking for a partnership. Um, and there were some triggers that I was watching for that, that were important for me. Um, an example, the blower door testing. To me, uh, I wanted a measured approach. I wanted to know where am I, where am I at right now and what are we uh, developing towards. So I was looking for uh, a contractor that would do a test at the beginning, but also at the end. So you could really see, hey, did we really make the improvements that we were hoping for? And um, that was something I was looking for. Uh, on the HVAC side, um, uh, through all my study, I learned uh, that I really had to go for right sizing. So um, that was very important for me. And I picked up somewhere that a manual J is very important. I didn't know what this was, but um, here I was Googling and I found a software program to make your own manual J. So I presented that to uh, our uh, HVAC uh, contractor and uh, jokingly, he offered me a job. <laughs> uh, it was about the same as the one he made, but it, it shows you a little bit that you're really engaging with each other. He put his on the table, I put mine on the table and we had a conversation and uh, it wasn't like, okay, uh, I think you need a three or a four ton uh, heat pump period. You know what I mean? I, I wanted to understand what was going on. Uh, same as Josh, I think he said, what, did I feel, feel pushed or did I feel that they were kind of trying to reel me in uh, through education and engagement. So that was something I was looking for. Very important, um, are they looking whole house or just all at their own little thing? Is the HVAC guy just looking at the heat pump or is he really trying to improve uh, the situation and, and trying to bring my house to a new level? So that was something uh, that was important for me. And um, seven, and I wasn't, per se looking for it, but I was very happy when I found out this was the case. Turned out that my, uh, that my uh, home um, uh, performer, performance contractor was actually uh, cooperating with my HVAC contractor. So they had a long-standing relationship. So when they came over, they came over together and that was really, really uh, valuable. So uh, all the blower door test uh, info was available to the HVAC guy and they were looking at, they were walking around the home together. So it was really uh, valuable. So um, I'm, my time is up. <laughs> you know, um, I, uh, Bart, I, I really appreciate you had mentioned the, the last part, the cooperation. Um, I think in the case where you don't have um, somebody particularly managing the whole project, uh, like a green consultant, uh, that is invaluable to have um, connections where each of the team members are working together and to have the, you know, the, web, the home performance contractor working with the HVAC uh, rather than in many cases, even on projects to this day, new construction, we see there is a total disconnect uh, and it causes a lot of problems. So I appreciate you sharing that. I pretty much had, you know, everything all of you said. I just, and just like Dale said, I've been, I've been doing this for 10 years, so I know people, so I kind of cheated a little bit and didn't have to look around as hard. Um, and that's, you know what, Michigan Energy Efficiency Contractors Association, Great Lakes Renewable Energy, Michigan Geothermal Energy Association, all of our planning partners know these folks, they're members, they're doing good work, we have members. So get at us if you, if you wanna learn who's doing what and who can help you and we can kind of, you know, help you in your journey. So you, if, you, if you're not sure who to work with um, uh, in Michigan, or we have folks we work with throughout the uh, Midwest, um, I really want to hone in on United Bank, who honestly, you know, my, my first lender, they're like, you're going to have to use a construction loan and hire a, someone with a builder's license. And I'm like, I GC'd my last project. I'm going to GC this one. I don't need a, I'm not going to go get a builder's license. I don't need a builder. I'm not doing anything structural. That's kind of crazy. Um, I understand that's your rules. So we found the Freddie Mac, the fan, uh, the Freddie Mac green choice mortgage program. And that allowed you to switch out the builder uh, for a uh, energy rater, which was very important for what we're doing. Uh, and a, a green, a certified green appraiser, someone who's going to use the green appraisal addendum, which was also very important to what we were doing to build more value. 
Um, and so we went back to the older lender and said, can you use this? And they looked around and just said, no, that's not going to work out. Um, so um, United Bank, Anna Miller, you know, I know they do mortgage loans all over the Midwest, uh, Michigan, maybe even bigger. You know, let me know if I can introduce you because, I, you know, they were so patient with me. They've never done a green loan before. They took on the Freddie Mac program. We almost used it, but then got totally derailed by a water quality issue where we had to borrow more money to fix that and water, a bunch of plumbing issues that we didn't expect. It derailed our whole project by a year. So then we um, went back, had to borrow more money for that, plus all the other things we were doing, uh, all electric, heat pumps, solar, ERV. And we ended up going back down the construction loan route, but this time they're like, look, you don't need to hire the builder, you just get a little bit of a worse interest rate. But interest rates had collapsed so badly that it was fine. Um, and so, you know, to this day, I swear you could use Freddie Mac to go solar, all solar return on investment, probably day one, especially if you live in an SREC market or have net metering, which unfortunately um, the big parts of Michigan consumers in DTE no longer have. Um, I, you know, I, I bet you anything you could do that. And even with a traditional, um, uh, you know, uh, 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 with a traditional construction loan, you could do that too. But I, you know, I'm, if it wasn't for them, none of this would work. They got the, the appraisers trained green. We were able to eke out 3% value and interview the appraiser on how they did that, um, which increased, allowed us to borrow more. So it was big and, and a huge thanks to all of our other contractors who had to deal with me <laughs> as a GC. Uh, I know <laughs> it was a lot of fun. So um, lessons learned, I'll hand it off to Amy and Mike. Be sure to check out all of our courses available online that you can watch anytime and anywhere to pick up your CEUs. Before you go, make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube to get weekly updates and stay up to date on green building science courses, webinars, and home tours. Thanks again.